You mad, bro? Uh, you mad, bro? Hey guys, do you also hate it when your notebook is so slow that programs take forever to load up, games take ages to load and Windows takes like half an hour to boot up? Then watch this video until the end, because today I'll show you how to upgrade your notebook and how to make it fast again. So guys, I recently bought a new laptop and here it is. So this one here is the ASUS GL502VS. And to be honest, this is really the best notebook I've ever bought in my whole life. But to be honest, there was one problem with the notebook and today I want to tell you the story and how I solved the problem. As you may know, I edit a lot of 4K videos for YouTube. That means I need a powerful system to edit that in Adobe Premiere. I'm using usually my desktop's PC which is very powerful but recently I travel a lot and I need to edit videos on the go. And this is why I got this notebook here. It's still very compact but absolutely powerful. Latest i7, DDR4 and the GTX 1070 which has almost a desktop performance and which helps a lot while rendering. I was on a budget of around 2000 euro which is not really too much for a very powerful high-end notebook. But ASUS really made something which is reliable, has decent build quality and top-notch performance. But you, as you may know, um, 2000 euro is not really a lot and um, that means I had to buy the entry-level high-end model. That means it came with a hard drive only. And yeah, I thought actually it's a 7200 RPM hard drive. It will be fast enough for the beginning. But to be honest, I freaked out. It was so damn slow. When I started Adobe Premiere, it took ages. I couldn't import my videos, the timeline was lagging. And just imagine that you pay 1,600 euros for a brand new notebook and it's slower than your old notebook. And there was something wrong with it. I'm not really sure if the hard drive is just total crap or if it was broken. The write speeds looked okay in the benchmark for a normal hard drive but it was unusable. So I contacted Corsair and asked if they could give me an SSD so to upgrade this machine and to check out if the hard drive is broken and also to see the difference. And to be honest, it makes a huge difference. Also, I took the chance and also doubled the RAM. So the basic model came with eight gigabytes of RAM, which is absolutely enough for casual use. But for video editing, sometimes Adobe was crashing, I did hit the limit somehow. And with 16 gigabytes, it's totally fine. Well, it could be more, so it could be even more smooth, but to be honest, 16 gigs is for my usage absolutely enough. So today I want to show you how to upgrade your old or your brand new laptop from a hard drive to an SSD and also how to upgrade your RAM. But first of all, you really need to check if your notebook is upgradable. On some ultrabooks, so for instance on the MacBooks, you can't upgrade a lot. For instance, I had a MacBook in early 2015, Retina version, you can find it on my channel, and I upgraded the SSD, but it was only possible to use Apple proprietary SSDs or some OWC SSDs, and they were super expensive and absolutely not worth it. But on the most Windows machines, like here also the Asus um, notebook, you can upgrade the RAM and the SSDs easily. First of all, you really need to check what is upgradable and what kind of SSD you need. I'm using here a 2.5 inch SSD. So this is pretty much what you can also find in desktop PCs. It's just a little bit slimmer. I think it's seven millimeters, as you can see. So you really also need to check the form factor. Then there are MSA SSDs, M.2 SSDs, so on boards. I also have one here, but it will be in the next video. And then you also need to check what kind of RAM you need. I have here the latest um, version, this is DDR4 memory for mobile notebooks, but there's also DDR3, DDR2, you really need to check what is upgradable. And also if your notebook is too old, an SSD probably does not make sense if something else is the bottleneck like the CPU or if you don't have a lot of RAM. It will just make your PC a little bit faster but probably not that much. So the whole process um, will just take you 10 minutes, so if you transfer Windows it will just take you like one or two hours. It's very easy to do and I would say let's get directly started and let's do this. Alright, so let's go. Now first of all you should do a backup of your most important data. There's always the chance that something goes wrong and just to be sure, backup all your important files. You also got the options to reinstall Windows on the SSD or just transfer your whole Windows partition from your old drive to your new SSD. 
I decided not to reinstall it, because my Windows was just installed a week ago. There are advantages and disadvantages to both methods. With a clean install of Windows on a new SSD, you will be removing any issues that you may have experienced on your old installation, so keep that in mind. Some manufacturers also provide tools to transfer Windows to the SSD. But I personally used Macrim Reflect, which I can really recommend, and it's totally free. I did this first because I could still boot my notebook from the internal hard drive, and I connected the SSD with a SATA to USB adapter to my notebook. You can get those adapters pretty cheap on Amazon for like $10. First you won't see your SSD on the computer, because it's not formatted. So jump into the Windows Disk Management, which you can access over the search, and format your newly bought SSD. After that is done, it's recognized by the PC and you can start Macrim Reflect to clone your drive. It's super easy and straightforward, so just choose your original hard drive and then the new SSD as target and then start copying. Depending on the size of your drives, this can take up to several hours. And after that is done, we can start to swap the drives. Now let's do the harder part. Depending on your notebook, you maybe need different screwdrivers. If your notebook has a detachable battery, that you can read from the outside, then make sure that you remove it right now. If it's inside, like on my notebook, you need to unscrew the back plate first and then detach the battery connector cable. Also, if you're using an anti-static wrist strap, then now is the time to put it on and attach it to a ground. On this particular model, it's very easy. All you need is a crosshead screwdriver and then you can open it up. Accessing the SSD and the RAM slots is also very easy, so you just unscrew the back cover and then you can already see them. So this ASUS model is very upgrade friendly. Then here you can find a M2 SSD slot, the two RAM slots and one SATA slot for 2.5 inch hard drives. A M.2 SSD tutorial will come soon, so stay tuned. Now first I switch the RAM modules. This is usually very easy. All you need to do is carefully open up the socket and then slide out the memory module. The new one slides in at a 30 degree angle and only fits in one direction because of the small gap in the connector, which is not exactly in the middle of the module. Now just change your RAM module or both of them and close the socket carefully again. Make sure you don't touch any of the contacts and also check that they sit perfectly straight in the socket. Now changing the drive is also very easy. Usually it's in a metal cage that is fixed with one screw. So unscrew the cage, slide it out and then unscrew the drive which is usually fixed with some screws inside of the cage. Now replace the hard drive with your fresh SSD and slide it in the opposite way. And then tighten all the screws but don't over tighten them. So after you're done upgrading the parts you want to upgrade, don't forget to reattach your battery, attach the backplate and now it's time to turn it on and see if it's still working. So let's go! So guys, we're now here at the end of this video and yeah, finally this notebook is back alive. So I have now five to six times of the read and write speeds of the hard drive, but to be honest, I think the hard drive had some issues. It was broken because it was super slow and it was bottlenecking the whole system. And I have a friend who has the same notebook and he said it's working okay for him, can't really believe that, but yeah, and with the SSD it's way, way faster. Now you can see that the SSD really makes a huge difference, but only if also your other components are fast enough so that it's not bottlenecking. For sure, you can also upgrade all the notebooks, but if the CPU um, is crap and also the RAM is very low, then the SSD will only give you a small boost. But here, it makes it like a new system. So guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. And if you like this video, please like it. Also write a comment down below if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And also subscribe that you don't miss any future tutorials. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'll catch you in the next one.